Hello, Ron. Hello, Lou. And hello, America. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Men Are So Smart. America. Yeah, hello, <laughs> and good day. Uh, we've become known as a show that brings you the very latest on the Fen Treasure. As witnessed by the numbers on our videos, we know that you count on us to bring you as much information on a regular basis as we can. And I will tell you that there is not a lot of new no uh, noise, a uh, lot of new news, but we will share some things with you on this next episode. Welcome to another episode of Men Are So Smart. I am Lou Gallagher. I am Corvette Ronnie. Hey, Ronnie, uh, yeah. we have, I guess I should say I, have become the go-to guy Man. for people who have solutions to the fan treasure. That is an understatement. Yeah. Uh, I was showing Ronnie uh, my phone like on... 200 emails, maybe? <laughs> and, and here's the thing, friends. I know that it has been said that someone would find this treasure in August or September of this year. Right. Okay. Now, as far as we know, no one has. And we're getting close to the end of that window. It, it, indeed. We're halfway through it, for sure. Now, here's what I wanted to talk to you about a little bit today. First of all, uh, we are not treasure hunters. No. Uh, as much as we would like to be. Yeah. We don't have that kind of time. My wife said no. She, uh, she, well, she's the boss. <laughs> we covered that in a previous episode. <laughs> uh, okay, so here's the thing. I have virtually si <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> six or seven people who I am in regular contact with who believe they have the solution to this poem. Right. As you are well aware... We brought you what we believe to be as close to being an exact solve as we could. I can tell you that as far as that particular solution, the Glenn Coughlin solution, we're waiting on some things right now that will or will not substantiate right. his solve. Right. Okay. It's the most, I mean, it's the most correct I've seen. And he just gave us some new information. Yeah. Um, you may not want to go into that just I, yet. I can't. I, I really can't. Um, with people who contact me, Ron, one of the very first things that I promise them is that I will keep all of the information to myself. Right. Until otherwise advised. And so I have done that. I'm keeping that promise to several people. One particular person has been in regular contact with me daily. And this person, I believe, is also very close to a possible solve. Mm -hmm. Here's the thing. No matter what we put up here, people are going to say differently. Oh, yeah. Well, and everybody has in their mind their own solution to... Some of the clues, some people have in their mind solutions to all of the clues. But until somebody produces a treasure chest, uh, then, well, you know. The thing I have trouble with is, if we bring you some of these details that we are coming across now, we would be in betrayal of that secret clause, right. if you will, right. nonverbal. But at the same time, what's going to happen is people in the Fen community, and I mean all-encompassing, okay, will turn on this person, and I don't understand why. Right. Just because you believe you have a solve that is correct does not give you permission to tell everyone else that they're wrong. Right. Everyone has a possible solution. However, and this is so crucial on it means nothing. No. Nothing until you go and get the box. Now, it seems to me also that everybody has a reason why they can't. Right. Yes. But at the same time, here's the thing. Their wives won't let them either. 
they have something that limits them physically. Right. Um, financially. I had one guy tell me... Geographically. In, indeed. Yeah. Uh, Australia is kind of far from the four <laughs> states that are mentioned in the book. Yes. Uh, so here's what I'm getting at. Uh, in the coming days, we will be bringing you, we hope, some very interesting insight into what's going on right now. Until... We are at that point. There is no one that has the solution. And this is August. Right. And September is right around the corner. Yeah. Now, if you would like to send me your solutions, you have my promise that I am not going to go and look at your treasure spot. Right. I am not going to steal your treasure, no. nor is Ronnie. No. Okay. But here's the thing. Reasons why you can't go get the treasure are simply excuses. Right. And that, again, I say, does not give you the right to tell everyone else that they are wrong. Just wanted to make that clear. Now, if you'd like, both of us are very unique individuals, Ronnie. Absolutely. And, and to a certain extent, we both have our feelings on the solution of this poem. Now, I have gotten a lot more correspondence than perhaps Ronnie has, but he has his theory on what's right. And as he's mentioned, he's leaning more towards Glenn's particular solution. Uh, every clue has a, a solid solve, uh, and I haven't seen anybody else present us with that. So for the time being, that's the way I'm leaning. I can tell you this, uh, and we're going to leave you with this. There is a person that I am dealing with who has sent the message of the solve along with some pictures to Forrest Fenn himself, and I have seen his reply. He did reply to this person's solve with a question that really made me feel that this person may be on to something. Yeah. I'd love to tell you more. I can't. I've read the I've read both sides of that and again uh I think that hmm I may have to rethink my <laughs> my alliance here and because Force Fan has if he responded to everybody that sent him an email, obviously that's all he would be doing all day long. Right. So I'm sure he kind of filters them out. I mean, he, very likely he reads them. I think so. As long as they're not too long. That's what I've heard. He, right. If it goes on and on and on, he doesn't have time for that. If you send him a couple sentences with some pictures. And uh, a specific question. Right. Then you may get a reply from him. But uh, other than that, he doesn't have, there's no way. No more excuses. Right. If you've got to solve... Now is the time. Here's why. The weather will shortly change. Yeah. And the window, as has been explained to me, is July, August, and September are truly the only safe months in a window for trying to find the treasure chest. And in those areas, even late September can be sketchy. Oh, sure. So, mm -hmm. I mean, really... Especially talking, at those elevations yeah, so, at 10,200 feet. I mean, we're talking maybe a matter of three weeks, mm -hmm. and this thing is gone for another year. Now, one other thing I'd like to mention is this. I don't want anyone getting hurt. Right. And a lot of the people that contact me will say, look, I'll give you my solve, but you've got to go get it, and I want half. Look, I, I'm not going to go get it. No. Trust me. Uh, I'm kind of an older guy. Yeah. I've got two bad knees and, and no time. Ronnie, you know that. Well, <laughs> I have no time in my schedule. Forrest Finn physically could probably still run circles around us. I would I would almost assure that. So, yeah, there's no there's no way either one of us is going to head over there unless, unless they make a drone that can pick it up. <laughs> and one other thing that worries me about this is if you have this solve... And you give it to another person, the chances of you getting half of that treasure, mm. in my honest opinion, are nil. You better have the uh, 
I would have something written out by an attorney, not something scribbled out on a napkin. Yeah. Um, because well, we're talking a pretty substantial amount of money here to be kind of frivolously, you know, letting it out in the wind. You know, I will leave you with this. One of the people that have contacted me said that when it comes to the clues, this person started right at the top with the title of the book, The Thrill of the Chase. And this person suggests that that chase is not about the hunting of the treasure, but about the bank. Oh. I'm going to leave you with that. Wow. Think about that for a second. All right. So once again, to reiterate, we've gotten, we've gotten all of your emails. Yep. We see them and we read them. If you ask us to keep it a secret, that's what we do. Yep. Um, as you can tell f uh, with how vague we've been on this episode. Uh, never more vague in our lives. Uh, also, wanted to mention... I appreciate all of the other Fen shows that are out there. Yeah. All of them. Uh, Gypsy's Kiss, uh, the uh, the flip side of the Fen Treasure. We enjoy these programs. In fact, we call that one the Brady Bunch because of the split screen. That's later. right. Like six or nine people on the show at a time, <laughs> which is pretty cool. I wish I could do that. I don't know how. Yeah, Contact yeah, me yeah. and tell me how yeah, you do that. Yeah, we want the technology. We do. Uh, and, and you know what? And we have all the respect in the world for these other shows. There's plenty of room for shows like this yep. as witnessed by the numbers of views that they are getting. Obviously. All right. So that's all that we can tell you right now. Uh, we have been gone for a few weeks. We haven't been in contact with you. So we wanted to come on here and tell you that we are vigorously working on this project continuously. And as we can bring you info, we will. There's not a lot of new info out there. It's, None. It's a, it's a rehash of stuff that we've already done. We don't want to go through. We don't want to do that. We don't want to subject you to the same stuff over and over again. Yeah, I mean, I could put the poem up here, but how many times have you looked at the poem? Right. Right. So we just want to bring the newest, latest, and greatest uh, updates, uh, news, emails. Uh, but again, if you send us your email... It stays. It'll die with us. Yeah, until you tell us otherwise. Right. So we do encourage that. Yeah. We also encourage you to leave comments below on our video. Uh, if you leave something vulgar or profane, it's going to be gone and you're going to get blocked. Yeah. All right. One other thing I wanted to mention that. No, I'm not even going to do that. I'm sorry. I can't okay. do that as well. Oh, just one more thing. All right, one more thing. <laughs> uh, yes, I did turn off the comment section on two of our videos. Oh yeah. And here's the way that that works. See this show here with the two of us? Let me tell you that for 30 years, I've worked in the radio business on the air. And for 30 years, I've had program directors that I've had to answer for. On this show, it's me. Right. I make the decisions. I always try to go to Ronnie to get his take on things, but I call the shots here. It's our show. If we decide to turn off the comments because they are rude, profane, vulgar, whatever, detrimental, uh, then that's my choice. Once they stop being productive, then there's no sense having them up anymore. Mm -hmm. So now I will leave the comment section on this video up. Yeah. And we'll allow you to comment below. And as I've said on just about every video that we've ever done in the last year, um, honestly, you can get a hold of us any way you wish. Yep. Uh, there are email addresses. We have social media. There are many ways. My email address is lou at menaresosmart.com. Mine's ronnie at uh, menaresosmart.com. And uh, we do get back to you. Absolutely. Uh, and, and we will as you comment until otherwise. Yeah. All right, Ronnie. So that's got to, we got to get out of here. Yep. Um, we just wanted to come back and talk to you, Fen viewers, and let you know that we are diligently working on trying to find the one and only solve to this treasure. And until the next time, 
I'm Luke Gallagher. I'm Corvette Ronnie. We'll see you. Bye-bye.